Notes 9b. Rates and Additional Values. Objective. I can identify the base, rate, exponent, and initial value. I can interpret each value's meaning. Essential question. How do I find and interpret values of an exponential function? On your notes, write down how you feel today. Take a moment to look at the vocabulary for this topic. Use these as reference for later. Parts of an exponential equation. We have f of x equals p times parentheses 1 plus r, close parentheses, to the x plus h power plus k, where p is the initial quantity, 1 plus r is the base, r is the rate of increase or decrease, x plus h is the exponent, where h is the horizontal shift, and k is the vertical shift, just like we were looking at quadratic functions earlier. Let's look at number 1. f of x equals 100 times 1 half to the x power. Looking at this, our initial quantity is the number in front of the parentheses. That's 100. So we're going to write 100 on the blank. The base. The base is what's inside the parentheses that has the exponent on it. The base in this case is 1 half, 1 over 2. We have 1 plus r, where r is the rate of increase or decrease. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So that means that r equals negative 1 half. Basically, it decreases by 50%. They might say decrease by 50%. They could say halves, anything like that. Let's look at the next one. f of x equals negative one-third times 1 1.75 to the x power. The initial quantity is what's in front of the parentheses. That's negative one-third. The base is 1.75. This is bigger than 1, the base, so that means it's going to be an increase. It increased by 0.75. So that means it increased by 75%. Let's look at the next part. Setting up exponential equations. A strain of bacteria growing on your desktop doubles every five minutes. Assuming that you start with only one bacterium, how many bacteria could be present at the end of 90 minutes? When setting this up, we want to follow our BHS method. B stands for box, the, the numbers. So we have five, one and ninety. So we could check that one off. Okay, the H stands for highlight keywords. So let's see what to highlight, which keywords. Growing, the bacteria is growing, it's not dying out. We have doubles and we have minutes. We start with that one, and then at the end we have 90 minutes. So from here we're going to select tools. A tool that we'll want to do is write out our givens and our unknowns. This is a growth. It says the word grow. A 
is going to represent your new amount. That's what we're looking for. P is your original amount, your starting amount. It says start with one bacterium, so we're going to put one right here. The R is the rate of growth. It doubles. So that means that the rate would be 1 because 1 plus 1 would be 2. That's doubling. T is going to be the minutes over 5. It's over 5. It's divided by 5 because it's every 5 minutes. It's not every minute. And we're looking at 90 minutes, so it's going to be 90 divided by 5, which equals 18. 18 is our T. So we're going to write the equation and evaluate for A. So if A equals 1 times 1 plus 1 to the 18th power. From here, we're going to put this in our calculator to evaluate for A. So we're going to turn our calculator on and go to Calculate. We're going to plug in numbers starting at the 1. Don't put A equals. The calculator will not be able to read that. So let's type that in. 1 parentheses. 1 plus 1, close parentheses, caret 18. Press right and then enter. This is how many bacteria will be there in 90 minutes according to the formula that you derived. So we'll write the result on our paper. 262,144 bacterium in 90 minutes. Let's go over one more example. Say up exponential equations. Ashley invests $7,337 in a savings account with a fixed annual interest rate of 3% compounded four times per year. What will the account balance be after eight years? So let's follow our BHS steps. So first we're going to box the numbers. We have $7,337, 3% four times per year, and eight years. So we're done with box of the numbers. Now let's highlight our keywords. So for our keywords, we have money, the dollars, invests, this is how much it originally is. It's an annual interest rate, 3%, and it's compounded a certain amount of times per year, not just once. And then we have years. From here we're going to select tools. We're going to write and identify our givens and our unknowns. Is this a growth or a decay? There's an interest rate here that's being compounded. And their savings account. This is a growth. Notice that we have N now. N represents the number of times the interest rate is compounded per year. If it doesn't give you one, you would assume it's one. They might say the word annual, per year, one time, that sort of thing. A, we don't know what that is yet. P is our original amount, our principal amount. That is $7,337. Our rate is 3%. 
it has a decimal that's 0 0.03. N, our number of times per year, is 4. T is 8 years. And then we're going to plug these into the formula to evaluate for A, our amount after 8 years. So let's go ahead and write that out. A equals $7,337 times 1 plus our rate over N, which is 0 0.03 divided by 4. Close parentheses to the N times T power, 4 times 8. So now we're going to go to our calculator and type this in to evaluate for A. So let's type that in. $7,337 parentheses 1 plus control divide to get the fraction 0 0.03 then press down 4 for N press right twice to get out of the parentheses caret 4 times 8 power power press right and then enter this is how much money Ashley will have after those 8 years $9,318.81 so we'll write that on our paper the main thing for these is say up the formulas. After that, you just use your calculator to evaluate for the answer. A lot of questions will only ask you to set up these equations, not solve them or evaluate them.